Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, animation graphic uh, that you can use on your videos going forward. This is especially helpful uh, for people like me and maybe like you who have a YouTube channel who want to have a, a standard uh, kind of animation. Uh, maybe it's a subscribe button or social media handles or something like that that you can add to your videos without having to create them each time or going back in a previous project and copy and pasting them. Uh, you can kind of create your own uh, stock library in a way when it comes to these custom animations. Uh, and when I say custom animations, I'm, I'm saying uh, just a graphic that pops up that you can put on your, your videos. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is I just have a, a blank project and you wanna make sure that it's sized to the videos that you're going to be exporting in the future. Uh, so I'm actually gonna create one here that I'm gonna use for my YouTube videos going forward. And it's just a YouTube uh, play button that has an animation that pops out and shows uh, the, the link or the URL to my YouTube channel. So uh, this is gonna be something that I'm gonna just pop on top of my videos going forward and I don't have to create it each time. So I have a brand new project. This is a 1080p project because most of my videos are delivered in 1080p. If you do 4K, make sure you size it accordingly. Uh, so we're going to go over here to our titles. And I have a, uh, a pack of titles that I that I actually purchased that I'll link in the description down below if you want to go look at these as well. And I used a, a couple of these in my previous videos. But what's included in this package is a uh, YouTube button, if I can find it here right here it's a little youtube animation that pops out and just shows the url so i'm just going to drag this down and you want to make sure this is the only thing in your timeline so you can see it just pops up right in the center and um, it's got a black background and what i want to do is first of all i want to size this uh, to uh, where i want it to be in my final video so i know going forward i always want this to be in the bottom center of my video so i'm going to right click on here click transform and just move this down to the bottom and maybe make it a little bit smaller to right around there and click enter. So now it's going to always be uh, displayed at the bottom here. Now I want to go ahead and make the duration uh, usually the same duration each time. So I'm actually going to take this duration and make it uh, around eight seconds. So uh, right around there. And now let's go ahead and change our YouTube uh, link in here. Uh, this is just going to be obviously whatever whatever your, your channel would be or whatever text you want to put in there. So I'm just going to create this one here. Uh, I'm going to retype it because I actually want it to display a different way. Uh, I'm in the wrong area here. So there we go right here. I'm going to type it, uh, actually use upper and lower case, YouTube.com, and then I'll do slash and then LUTs lounge. And we will change the uh, text to our liking here. And we'll go to a different, uh, different text. Uh, this is the one I kind of go to most of the time. And we will take the size up a little bit right there. And maybe go back into our uh, text editor and do some refining with the tracking. All right, and there we go. Should be good to go. So that's what I want it to look like in my YouTube video. So it's going to start off in the center, pop up, show the URL, and then go away, and that's it. So that's pretty much it. If you want to create something else that goes on there, maybe your social media handles, obviously it's the same thing. You're basically just setting up what you, what you want to be on your videos all the time. So once we got that, we're going to go to our share button. This is where we're going to export it in a, a certain way to make sure that it shows up with a transparent background. So I'm going to go to my share button and I'm going to go to fi uh, export file default. This should be one that's automatically in your Final Cut Pro, uh, just automatically. It's, it's kind of like the default export that it automatically creates. And we're just going to call it Lutz Lounge YouTube Animation. That way I know exactly what it is. Now we're going to go to the settings here. And we're going to make sure that our file format or our format here is only on video. So video only. Choose that right there, video only. And then our video codec, this is really important. You want to make sure the video codec is Apple ProRes 4444. So that's going to make sure that the video has a transparent background. If you don't do that, your video will have a black background and it's not going to be as easy to take that out in the editing when you want to add it further. Uh, if your action is set to QuickTime by default, go ahead and click Save Only. That means it'll just save it and not open it in QuickTime afterwards. And we're going to click Next and choose where we want to save it. 
and we are good to go. So let that export. Okay, so now we have this video. Let's say this is gonna be the ending video uh, for one of the videos that we make. We're gonna take our finder here. We're just gonna take our YouTube animation, drag that over, and there you go. Now you can see that it is always gonna be at the bottom, and it's always gonna be that duration, and it has a transparent background. So that is a really, really awesome way of doing some consistent um, uh, kind of animations on your videos going forward. Again, this could be everything and anything that you want it to be. Uh, and also, this is going to be a great way to make GIFs as well, so uh, or GIFs, however you want to say it. GIFs or GIFs um, for uh, creating GIFs and GIFs in Final Cut Pro, which I'll actually show in another video. Uh, so uh, that's a really great way of making these custom animations for your videos, keeping things consistent, keeping your brand consistent, and always have it just where you can drag it in, put it on your videos, and you're good to go. So thank you guys for joining me in this quick tutorial. Head on over to LutzLounge.com. i got some more cool stuff over there, more tutorials, Lutz, and some definitely more products coming uh, in the near future. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one.